Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to continue uh, looking at the TypeScript handbook. Uh, this is about interface today. Let's begin. Okay, so interface. Um, yeah, so the, the type, right? Uh, this this is a interface for this function. Uh, it says this function needs a parameter, an argument, uh, which is an uh, has the label string. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to be be uh, be clear that this interface is the minimum requirement. Like it says, it requires a label as string, but actually we could pass in uh, this one, like uh, uh, a label, uh -huh. but with extra size, even if it is not used. So interface only check if this is called duct typing. Uh -huh. You only check that interface is satisfied or not, or it doesn't check equalness. Okay? So this is the minimum interface and it satisfies, so it, it will be acceptable. Okay. For interfaces, we could add a question mark to, to, to indicate that it is optional. Uh, pretty easy to understand. Yeah, so when square config is. Uh, has these two optional uh, field and we pass in this color and you see that width is optional so we didn't pass in pass in the width and when we are check uh, checking the color we add if clause if not it's gonna be if it, it, it gonna be f okay it's gonna fail oh wait a second Yeah, you see that uh, string undefined, this is where the square config from, a string or undefined, is not assignable to string. A, a new square, it requires the color to be string, so yeah, it's not okay. Okay, so this is it. And read-only properties, we can read add read-only, and we add, after setting this, it, we cannot alter the uh, property anymore like uh, the object freeze in JavaScript right uh, but that is uh, but that is uh, I think it's a silent failing uh, but here is uh, is before the compile uh, is in the compiling phase um, okay so like uh, this point uh, read only we alter the X it's not okay so but I think we could add something this is read only add, added to the property right so actually we could set the other ones z hmm? no it's still not okay it does not exist ah i'm sorry yeah it doesn't exist cool and uh, we have the read only array like this this is a number this is ordinary array. we and we should should be able to uh, update the elements, but it, once we set it to read only array, it becomes read only. Let's take a look. Now the RO means read only a number, right? So actually, we could define something like get this. Now we set it to one, fail, update the length, fail. If set it to a equal three, it's still failed because it does not exist on the read-only number. Okay, so this is the same as it's kind of the same like uh, as const, right? Um, and like b equals one two three as const. Now the b, what's this b? B is read-only, but at more more strict strict than numbers array it's uh it's read only uh, the tuple it's become a read only tuple all these uh, still works like b a equal three error b uh b pop doesn't doesn't work yeah this is read only array mm -hmm. okay excess property checks Access property checks is very interesting. Like here, we accept a square config. Uh, both of the fields could be optional. And 
we are calling this function, we pass in color which is not existing in this uh, interface, and actually it gives us the error because it does not exist. As we said, it's not typing, so we should uh, we might expect that this to to work because the duck typing, right? Uh, this interface is only actually with 100 actually matches this one, but uh, it doesn't work that way. TypeScript thought that this might be an, an error, so we could uh, work around this by changing it into a variable. So this is a, a little weird. Um. The type square only checked the object literal directly pass into the function. So it's fail, it fail, but if we change it to the variable, it is okay. Why? Because we checked in the variable. Okay, if it has const. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't check that way. So if this variable, it might be altered, right? So this, so this color might be added after the uh, object, right? So TypeScript think that okay, it, it is acceptable, but uh, if we pass in like the directly object literal, okay, in, the color doesn't exist in the, in the interface, so it reports an error. So this is called access property checks, kind of a help, helping. Okay, to solve this problem, actually, we need what 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 we need is this this uh, index indexable types. It is index index signature. We need to alternate uh, alternate the, the interface to say okay besides color maybe it doesn't have have it or width doesn't have it and actually we have possibly any other string property with the value of any type so if this is the case actually this doesn't need anymore because the color might be there or not be there so this actually is equivalent to uh, this index signature right. <laughs> If this is with okay, with is not is mandatory. Uh, I would say this is meaning meaningful. Okay, this like uh, this is like a wild card uh, to, to meaning matching any property name with uh, in string. Okay, um, okay. Okay, so this is the case. Even if we pass, uh, put it into the, in the square option, it still fails because there is a uh, no property in the common with the square config. And this one, right? This color optional, width optional. But now you give us the color, different color. It's nothing similar to the interface, so it doesn't work uh, in neither. Uh huh. So. Yeah, we need to have something in common. Okay, next one, function types. This is a function, and we could define the type like search function type interface, and interface actually has a call signature, uh, similarly, uh, similar to this uh, index signature with this bracket, we have this uh, parenthesis. This is the parameters, and this is the return value. It means we get two string arguments and return a boolean. And so this is a function, and we could actually, uh, yeah, this is the interface. We say this is src. TypeScript said, okay, since this function has this interface, this first one must be a string, right? String, string, boolean, string. This is string, yeah, you see that string, and return a boolean. If we return something else, give us the error. So it helps us write the, uh, uh, help us. Uh, make make sure that the function is uh, right is right according to the interface definition. Okay, index of types we already covered it above. It means this has any opt uh, any kind of uh, properties in number. Here is number with the value string. Also, we could uh, use string, but number is uh, the value for number must be subtype for string because in JavaScript and the number actually will be converted into string to to, to, to be treated as normal property string uh, as the key right so animal is not a dog so it fails if we change it to uh, the other way I think it should work yeah this if number for dog okay a string for animal 
yeah, it works. Okay, nothing special. And we could make signatures, index signatures on read only. Okay, so after we set it read only, just like the read only array, we cannot change the array anymore. Okay, class type. Class type, uh, yeah, we we define a class like this and it implements the interface. This is the interface. Actually, we have the uh, field like this. This is interface. And also we have the uh, class method like this. This is, the at, this is the argument and this is the return value. So if this class implements this interface, it must have this uh, uh, three, right? And constructor is something different. Okay, this is the private stack it, stack it tick part. We must make sure that, that uh, we must understand the difference between the static and instance. This is actually for the instance. This is actually for the constructor, for the class. Okay, so uh, if we want to define, uh, uh, this is for the constructor because we call constructor with new keyword, right? So this is new and this is the constructor parameters. Okay, so this is the interface for constructor. So you say, okay, class implements this constructor. Um, uh, wait a minute. Uh, it doesn't work because this implements the uh, uh, the public part, right? This is this is for the instance method. This is not for, not for constructor. This class actually the class implements this is public public part. Okay, so how should we do? Um, first, we define uh, this is the for this is for a constructor interface with new keyword. This is for okay. This is for constructor interface. This is for the instance interface. Now we have this uh, factory method. We we pass in as the first is the class actually. The class actually is clock constructor. It has a new uh, as constructor, and this is the third and uh, thir second and third parameter, and the return return a class uh, instance, right? Return an instance. Instance has this class interface. This is the interface. This is a static class part. Okay, return new, yeah, something like this. And return, and we now implement the public part, constructor. Yeah, this is for the clock constructor. Okay, so this is it. But actually we could write it in more concise. More concise. And so this is interface, this is for constructor. This is for instance, instance, and this class inst implements these uh, uh, public uh, instance part, instance interface. And but for this clock itself, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually have already implemented the clock in constructor with this one, right? So we actually, this is actually a function. So we could use a variable to hold it, const clock. And we add this clock constructor. This is new. So if we try it and alternate the uh, constructor, uh, like say our number, if it's not number string, it's gonna fail. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it failed. Actually, the, this part doesn't fail, but uh, it failed here. The class doesn't fail, but so uh, it fails when we uh, assign this clock to this clock because the constructor doesn't doesn't match. Cool. Remember, if this class is used as the cre to create the instance, right? Uh, you should you should uh, implement this uh, instance ma in interface. If this class is passed treated as a parameter or something like uh, the factory method here is a parameter, then it should be treat. It be. It should use the uh, static part, which means the constructor interface. Okay, extend the interfaces. We could use extends, and just combine these two interfaces together, right? Uh, no, extends, not combine. So shape we has color and a square. Besides color, we have this side length. Okay, it extends. Cool. Hybrid types. Hybrid types. What is hybrid types? Hybrid types means that it could all uh, both work as a function because we have this call method, call signature. Okay, we could call direct call it, but function is an object, so it has properties, and this is the uh, 
other field of properties, right? Interval, reset, yeah, nothing special. This is because the dynamicness of uh, JavaScript. Interfaces in, in extending classes. A uh, classes implements interfaces, but also interfaces uh, could extend class. So this interface extends control. It means this in interface will require the private state field. Now the button extends control. This is class extends. So button has this private field and it implements selectable control. This is select select a me method. Click text box control select also okay. But Im image control. Class image control is not a uh, is not a subtype uh, of uh, is not a super type for of uh, control, right? It doesn't extend it extends control, so it doesn't have this state. And if you want to implement selectable control, this private state is 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 nowhere to be found. Even if you define it private state, it's, it's not the state we want, right? A selectable control specifically we require that anyone implements it must be be extending the class control so there's an error here so that's all for interfaces uh, things becoming more and more interesting uh, remember the excess property checks kind of uh, mind twisting another one is in in indexable types when we meet the generics Generics, we could, uh, we would know how to write this more uh, simple, simply. Uh, we could just reuse record to make it concise. Another one is a uh, function, 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 a call signature, and uh, we could actually have a shorthand uh, just to use this. Okay, the the shorthand like uh, function cost func. Uh, string return a boolean is str. Okay, this true. Yeah, we could use this shorthand to to uh, avoid writing this long interface. But sometimes this is very uh, uh, very useful. Okay, so that's all for interfaces. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.